All right, I was unpacking from Dayton. You know, I put most of the stuff in these big uh, black heavy-duty uh, Home Depot totes. And in this tote, you know, uh, when I opened the top of it, it had some other stuff in there, but I saw the top of this thing, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And uh, so I dug it out the tote and put it on this table here. And, you know, getting old sucks. And when you buy stuff and a lot of stuff. And I have a little red wagon now that I pull with me so I can uh, do cash and carry. Because um, I got got once, you know, by a guy that, you know, paid for it. And it was on the other side of the swap. And Dayton Hamvention is huge. And... I couldn't carry it because I didn't have a wagon back then so by the time I came back to get it of course he was packed up and gone and uh, you know that was that so anyway this is uh, what I found in my tote and like I say getting old sucks because I have no remembrance of buying this amplifier you know even after I saw it I'm like well dang where'd that come from uh, so this is tram doctor getting old but anyway this is a uh, henry tempo 2006 six meter only uh linear amplifier uses 28874 tubes i probably thought that it would use 250b tubes is probably why i bought it but it, i probably got it for cheap as i wouldn't have paid a lot of money for this but um Actually, I don't know if it having 8874s is better for me or worse. I guess it's better if they work or they got some decent output or some life left into them because 8874s can be quite expensive and hard to find nowadays. Um, um, you know, 250Bs you can find and you know for a reasonable price. And I'm a fan of Tetrode amps, which a 250B is, while the... Um, 8874s are high gain trials but anyway it's got two 8874s single band six meters only not no two meters like that Johnson six and two I just bought but um you know tune and load on the front got a uh, multimeter for a high voltage uh, current grid current and EXC only is probably drive I guess um, and then power on and off and up here it has an iTube which is pretty neat I looked at one online and uh, the iTube kind of shows output and modulation um, so that's pretty cool with the um, iTube for output and modulation on it uh, neat looking I don't know if I want to use this for six meters, but I got the Johnson six and two. I actually got two Johnson six and twos for six meters and two meters. And uh, taking the covers off this beauty, I haven't cleaned it or done anything to it. You can see the years and years of dust on this thing, you know. Um, but uses a vacuum variable for the tune, and uh, that's your load cap. As you go down in meters, which is actually up in frequency, it's funny how that works, um, you use less and less coil. Remember I say on most um, CB amps for 27, 28 megahertz amps that you need about four turns? Well, for six meters, um, up in the 50 megahertz, you need about half of that. So about two, two and a half turns of coil for six meters. And then as you go up the ham bands, like 20, 40 meters, you um, you multiply the um, amount of terms you need by um, how far up higher you go in the bands. Like if you go from 10 to 20 meters, you double the coil because you're doubling the um, the band. But anyway, that's the 288.74s in there. Thing got a lot of weight to it. Um, well built you know a boat anchor like they did back then that's the um, plate transformer there I didn't take it off to go underneath to see if it's got a um, oil field capacitor or what for a capacitor in it 
or may, might be a choke input. Some of them did the choke input back in the day. And the choke inputs um, add a, quite a bit of weight to the thing. Um, but that's probably what I looked at and saw. And I'm like, hey, it looked like 250Bs. I'll buy that. And, you know, come to find out there. 8874s after looking at the manual. But, you know, it's a swap. What can you do? So that's basically another toy that I found. And again, um, I got no recollection of buying this amp. But, you know, swaps are tiring and uh, almost too much for the old man. And uh, don't remember buying this guy. But I must have because it was in my tote and in my crate. So that's the uh, Henry Temple 2006. I'm in the dungeon right now, which you aren't going to see too much. And... Uh, you know, people asking me about all kind of projects and will I do this? I won't do it. I, I'm old. I'm tired. And uh, I keep saying I got a thousand projects. Here are some of them in the dungeon, right? That guy there I just picked up, if you know what that is. Um, that's the second one of those I got. Nickel some watt meters that I plan on keeping myself and some... Um, old speech processor rack right there and then here's a few racks of some of my other stuff so uh, got a house full the basement's getting full but uh, no fire sale going on here I'm getting to the point where um, I kinda got about everything I want and um, just gonna start doing me alright that's gonna be it for the uh, Henry Tempo 2006 Bye.